i've been in ghana for two years and six months and in this video i'll walk you guys through my morning routine how i take care of the house and a recap on being here am i happy am i miserable what do i miss in america right now i'm working on my calves this is uh basically my home gym if there is anything i miss in america it has to be not going to the gym in the morning i know i can do that in ghana but where i ended up living i live in the suburbs and there isn't any decent gym around that's why i built my own and also do plan on you know building one in the community and then i encountered this core situation on my commercial property if you don't know i moved to ghana purposely to build a gym that was my initial plan why i moved to ghana and then <laughs> as most people are aware when you're in ghana a lot of things will change and uh, this happened to be one of them i came in my plan changed a bit and I ended up trying to build a mini mall. So I bought an existing car while I was trying to renovate it. And I encountered some issues. Currently in court, the case is almost over. I'm gonna make a whole video about that, how that happened. I'm gonna give you guys a lot of details because it's almost over. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, you enjoy my videos, kindly do so, it helps a lot. Thank you. So basically, there aren't a lot of gyms around. And instead of me complaining and kind of crying about things, so that's just not how I roll. So I decided to build one for the community. But of course, I started by building one for myself in the house because I, I just can't live without working out. So I took care of that. Working out is a big part of me. Working out came first before business. And uh, if there is anything that I miss in America, is the community that I had in the gym. I had some very high level, you know, very smart, well-disciplined people in the gym. And those are the people that I basically kind of surrounded myself by, you know, on a daily basis in the morning. This is well understood that you're the average of the five people you hang around with. And imagine waking up every day and going to the gym at seven o'clock in the morning and everybody that you are hanging out with is basically a high achiever. And you know, that's definitely, definitely keep you in check. And, you know, your energy level is up there. So definitely miss those moments. I work out alone in the house. I'm a disciplined guy, so no matter what, I make it here whether I feel like it or not. But I definitely miss that and I can't wait to set up my gym in the neighborhood so that I can basically have some nice community in there as well. The gym socialization was a big part of my life. And uh, when I stayed at East Legon, Ghana for some time, I used to go to Post Fitness, at least it's Post Complex, and I was starting to meet some friends. You know, I also go to Fit Rip at Johulu, which was a very nice gym. But unfortunately, I'm too far away from there now. <laughs> it's impossible for me to work out there. So, uh, you know, you building those communities is something I truly enjoy. And uh, that part of my life is missing uh, because I wake up and I come here and work out by myself. If there's anything I miss in the States, that has to be it. I miss the gym community. Not the gym per se, because there are gyms in Accra that I can go to just too far from me. Most of us think that money is everything, but it's really not, right? You just need money to solve your money problems, but once you have it, without having that purpose, you're gonna feel empty inside. And I made a whole video about this, if you haven't seen that, check it out. How when I finished my house, I actually got depressed because I, you know, the reason why I came to Ghana I couldn't move because of this core situation that I mentioned earlier. I couldn't move with it, right? And it felt really lonely and bizarre, right? I'm not a lazy person. Some people can sit down and play video games the whole day. Even that, <laughs> what are you doing with your life, right? So money is not everything. It doesn't solve everything. People can't wrap their mind around the fact that somebody will leave uh, you know, their good job or the money in the West and move to Ghana, some people can just not wrap their mind around it. They think you are absolutely nuts, you are crazy, you are lunatic, and they just can't understand it. But those people are like, to me, they're on the lower level of thinking because it's not all about money, right? Some people are here to serve, right? You know, you have monks and you have people who are really happy. It's money is not everything, it's good. Trust me, I'm not the kind of person who doesn't care about money. I care about money, I'm a business person. But uh, just like working out, some people work out for two, four, five years before they see any results because of maybe they are just very skinny and it's hard to see results and they just got to keep going. Got to keep going. 
You gotta learn more about your nutrition. You gotta eat more. You know, you gotta do whatever. Or some people are fat, right? Some people are fat and they wanna lose weight, and it doesn't come to them easily. You know, they have very slow metabolism, and they are just not losing the weight. And they just gotta keep at it. Most people give up, and they will never see themselves losing the weight, right? It's just doing the same thing consistently over a long period of time. And it's inevitable that you're gonna see results. And that's the mentality you need to survive in Ghana and Africa at large. This video is brought to you by Acadian Limited. Acadian Limited is a company that I co-founded in Ghana. If you want your solar systems installed, if you wanna buy land, if you wanna design your house, if you need somebody to build for you, or you're already building and you want somebody to take over the building, we also provide a service of customized furniture. So if you want anything wood, you see the bookshelf behind me, all of that, we got you, it's customized. Whatever you want, you just gotta let us know what you want. We'll design it for you. If you have an example, we will do it for you. Look no further by Kitten Limited. The link is in the description below. Reach out to us and we can talk. You gotta know that we are back in time. Believe it or not, we are definitely back in time. We are definitely not in the industrial age, but it's, you could look at it as that. So it takes hardcore labor and it is very slow, right? The fast way of making money. It's just not a game here, you know, it's intense labor, hard core to make money here. And you gotta understand the game and be patient and play the long game. And then you will be laughing in 10 to 20 years. That's how you gotta think. And for the people who think that I'm nuts for moving to Ghana, cause I've seen people in the comments, you know, here and there, uh, I'm not at all. I know it's not easy, trust me, it's not easy. It would be much easier to just would have stayed in the States and be fine. Right? Be fine. I was, I was doing well in the States, so I could have just been there and be fine. Right? And just live the mediocre life, no purpose, and just be, uh, you know, an employee, like, you know, be in the car and just feel unfulfilled, wake up every day and go there and do that for 40 years. And then regret when I'm 65, like, what if I would have moved to Ghana, what would have happened? I would have never known. So it's more worth it, even if you fail, you don't make any money, and you know you try your best for a good 15 years. So I got here when I was in my 20s, right? So at 40, I'm still young. At 40, most people don't own a house, I do. So let's say I'm here for all these years at 40, and I'm like, man, this, this place is nuts. I made a mistake. You can always go back and uh, worst case scenario, you know, I've acquired some properties that makes me a millionaire easily. Uh, how many people are gonna say that when they are 40, uh, that they are millionaires? So basically don't have much to lose here. You just gotta go through all this thinking, right? Of evaluating what if, what not. You can't be too optimistic about everything. You have to evaluate it and be okay with the outcome. So if things doesn't go as planned, how big of a regret are you going to have, right? By following your dreams and your calling and the inner voice within you? Life is all about choices, right? Your entire life is all about the choices you've made since you could think for yourself all up to now. And you just gotta take personal accountability for that. And one thing that I've learned that has served me massively is to take personal accountability for both my success and my failures. And don't blame anybody else, not the government, not your parents, not your friends, not blah, 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 blah. Though they might have something to do with it. You have no control over it, and that's gonna drive you nuts. It's just not, it's not conducive. It's not helping you. People can't solve your problems for you. You can solve your own problems, so you might as well take accountability for it and see how you're gonna navigate that, right? If that person is, you know, a certain way that you don't like, unfriend them. If that person is a, a terrible business partner, don't be a business partner with them, blah, 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 blah. Don't blame them. It's entirely up to you to make that decision. You're, you are in control. You are the captain of your ship. I've been in Ghana for more than two years now, eight to two years and six months. I've had some up and downs. It hasn't been easy at all, but I like the challenge. Like I said, it's a title the easy way I moved to Ghana. If I wanted the easy way out, trust me, I wouldn't be here. I, I, I'm up for the challenge. I knew it was gonna be hard. Maybe not this hard. I did not anticipate anybody taking me to court. 
It wasn't part of my thinking, but it happened. And the way life is, is these things will happen. And you just got to be stoic about it. I'm not going to blame the person who took me to court. <laughs> and just get on with it right wake up take care of yourself mental you know i start with the gym it gets me ready for the day and uh the people who don't work out honestly i can't relate i don't know how you people are like coping because the days that i don't work out i feel very sluggish and slow and kind of like a hangover from drinking or something like i choose to take one day off and even that sometimes i come in here and maybe run for 10 minutes, because the way I feel when I don't work out is just, I don't enjoy it. So if you've never worked out before, the state that you're feeling, that you think is normal, is not. You, you, you are lacking, uh, you, you're lacking some energy there. You should check it out, change your life. Change my life. So after working out, I basically, most of the time, just fry about two to three eggs. I'm like, uh, eggs, so I have tomatoes, um, carrots, and green pepper in it. And then uh, eat clean with water, that's it, in the morning. I try my best to minimize my carbohydrates. I do eat it, but I'm very selective, and I try my best to, you know, work smarter, not harder. So I usually don't do a lot of cardio, not for that long. I just watch what I eat. I'm very strict on what I eat uh, to maintain my six pack and also, you know, stay in shape and fit. I want to look like this when I'm 50. That's my goal. This is my morning routine, really. Wake up, brush my teeth, gym, make something, you know, something very simple that keeps me lean and then get straight to work. I also have the gardeners in the back, you know, watering the grass now. It's been a long time since they watered the grass. Cause it was raining a lot, so that was good for them. But now nah, it's not it hasn't been raining. Uh, I think we are in the Hamatan season now in Ghana, which is a very dry season, very 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 dry. So I think that's where we are now. So if you're not subscribed to the channel already, kindly do so. Like this video as it helps the algorithm. Comment, let me know what you think. And until next time, my friends, be legendary. Peace.